the human torch was denied a bank loan. How now, brown cow. Hi, I'm Nate, coming to you from Tacova's HQ in Austin, Texas, and I'm going to share with you a bit of history about the trucker cap. Trucker caps kind of started showing up in the uh, late 1960s and early 1970s. Rural areas and local feed stores and truck stops, and they were they were originally called feed hats or gimme hats because everybody wanted them because they were usually free. They were super cheap to make, and the, the, the real high foam crown on them was a perfect canvas for advertising your local business. They were really uh, like a blue collar business card, you could say. And they were cheap to make, so they were great advertising for uh, small businesses. Then in the, the 80s, they kind of took off and became more of a, a, a style piece. Um, and, and the weirder your trucker hat, the cooler you were. And then again in the 2000s, trucker hats coming back and that's kind of more or less stuck. I'm glad because personally, I love a good trucker hat. For Tacova's trucker caps, the quality of these is well beyond the ones of the 1970s. All of the quality that you might expect in our boots or any Tacova's products, you'll find in our trucker caps. This is our sort of a higher crown trucker. We also have more like low pro and a mid pro. Instead of a foam, we use actually like a really robust cotton twill on a lot of these. Robe detail classic mesh back and a snapback closure. One of my absolute favorite things about our truckers though is the headband. It's soft, it's moisture wicking. I dare you to find a hat that sits more comfortably on your head. So thanks for hanging out. That's Trucker Hats. Like and subscribe if you wanna see more content and don't forget to pick up your Tacovas trucker cap at tacovas.com or at your nearest Tacovas store.